Hey folks, FC231 bringing you another collection and this time I have Star Wars Return of the Jedi Scout Walker ATST exclusively only at Kmart. You have a wonderful beautiful picture of your ATST on the planet Endor with a couple of Ewoks there, a Stormtrooper and Darth Vader on the bottom. There's a stormtrooper at the top inside commanding the ATST. At the time, the pilots were not released, so they had to do with make do with a stormtrooper on the top there. Here's the one side of the box, simply showing you what your ATST can do. And there is an ATAT -AT pilot in there. Like I said, simply because the actual pilot and gunner for the ATST were not released when this guy came out. Here's the bottom of the box for the ATST. An actual picture of the film in Return of the Jedi. Here's the top of the box. You have the beautiful logo of Star Wars Return of the Jedi and the product itself with the Kenner logo. Alright, so without further ado, let's take a look at the ATST, open them up from the box from Star Wars the Vintage Collection line. Okay, so here is the ATST out of the box, or you can call it the Scout Walker. The all-terrain scout transport and stands at 13 inches tall roughly about 13 inches tall here's a close-up of the ATST you have I guess these parts are the command viewports your concussion launcher this one right here was the light blaster cannon. And then obviously the twin blaster cannons with a little battle damage there. And then moving on down, have the knee joints and then obviously the feet are all dirty it has the mud look just because this walker was on the planet Endor rainforest tropical climate so these are the foot pads and then these part these parts here were, I guess, the fence cutting blades that were used to cut through gates, barbed wire, mesh, stuff like that. The, uh, tough vegetation as well. Here's a look at it from the side. And then obviously the gyro stabilizer there. And then a quick look at its detailed back. Supposedly these were the radiators here. along with its exhaust system there. And then you can see much detail on the shins. Detail pretty much everywhere. 
panels. This was the cockpit cooling system to keep the pilots inside at a fair temperature so they won't be sweating. And then obviously your hatch right there. For articulation, obviously the head can move side to side. Each cannon on each side of its head can rotate 360. The flaps can close or you can open them, keep them open or keep them halfway just like it did or how it looked in the movie. The main cannon here, up and down, left and right. For its legs, can move out and back, and this part here, this joint, can move up and down. I like to keep it flat, proportionate to the main base here, this way you get a stabilized stand and it won't fall on you. The knee joints here can go inward and outward. And the feet inward and outward as well. For accessories it came with an additional main front cannon. This one fires, comes with two missiles, and with the push of a button on the bottom here, fires both missiles at the same time. Here is what it looks like with the firing missiles attached. and it can move as well up and down slightly a little to the left and slightly a little to the right not as much as the main one where with the main one it can move a little more to the left a little more to the right it has more flexibility in this one even though this one doesn't fire it's more accurate to the movie and it's not as big as these this one was made more for, I guess, the younger fans who like to shoot projectiles and stuff like that. This one is more movie accurate, I believe. And to access the top, all you do is flip open the entry hatch. And then here's a look that inside the cockpit area there is seating for two pilots or rather one is for your pilot which is the one on the left I believe and or actually the pilot is on the right the gunner I think is on the left either way it doesn't matter it already came pre-applied with sticker decals on the side It would have been tough to apply those stickers in there. So the good people at the factory applied them for us.
or us Star Wars fans. And you can even see the brakes or I guess the gas pedal. The foot pedals pretty much for the walker. There's some detail on the console there. And then a look at the back of the cockpit area. With your two seats there. And some more stickers. All right, so we took a look at the ATST from Star Wars The Vintage Collection. Do I recommend this ATST? I definitely do. It's movie accurate. Looks exactly like how it appeared in Star Wars Episode 6 Return of the Jedi. If you are a huge ATST fan, I definitely highly recommend you pick this one up 